Hey, welcome back everyone. Appreciate you joining me here at Cruising Views. Uh, it's Nate again, and I'm looking forward to uh, doing a daily with you. The cookie. <laughs> Today's daily is going to be about mindfulness. Mindfulness was something that really uh, helped me um, when I was in early recovery. Uh, this is something that when I was uh, in treatment, I was really focused about, you know, getting out of treatment, what I was going to do when I got out. And I was always like, um, you know, a few, few days, a few weeks, even a few months ahead of my life when I was in treatment. And I remember uh, uh, my therapist, he was like, hey, listen, Nate, you, you need to kind of settle down and, and focus back into today. That's all you've got is today. And uh, those 24 hours is really precious. And if you are always spending time, if you always got one foot into tomorrow, um, you're never going to be able to have a, a solid foundation of both feet right there in the present moment. So... I asked him, I said, well, well, what do you do? You know, how do you, how do you always just kind of focus in on, on the present moment? And he brought up the practice of mindfulness and I had never heard of mindfulness before. It was definitely something of like a, um, uh, kind of a foreign thing for me. Um, you know, I was 34 when I got sober, that was nine years ago. And I just remember like mindfulness, it like, it sounded like some sort of, uh, you know, weird thing uh especially to practice so anyway when he broke it down for me it was very simple it was something of always be aware of what your thoughts are and if they're not in the present moment then have that self-awareness bring it back to where you're at at the at the at that time so for me when i was in treatment and I was thinking about, um, you know, all the stuff that I had uh, destroyed and and created such a terrible life around myself and how I was going to fix this or how I was going to do that when I got out of treatment. It wasn't helping me. I needed to focus on the present moment to then be able to do the work to then help myself down the road. So I bring that every single day. Whenever I, I find myself kind of future tripping is what we like to call it, getting out of that present moment, getting out of mindfulness, um, you know, I was just in, in self-aware and I bring it back into that present moment and, and I tell myself, okay, Nate, what do I have to do to, to stay here? Do I have to take five, 10 minutes and, and just breathe, focus on my breathing um, to slow down, to slow down my day. Um, you know, if I'm always worried about tomorrow or worried if I don't have something or how I'm going to do something, you know, I'm not focusing in on today and that solution today. Uh, I'm just, fo I'm just always focused on a problem. So I think practicing mindfulness is such a great daily, um, you know, piece of that recipe for a successful life. I think that, you know, by practicing five, 10 minute, just quiet time of just focusing on one's breath or, or focusing on gratitude uh, for a few minutes, what am I grateful for? Another thing that I think is a great mindfulness practice, everyone, is focusing on um, why you started a journey in the first place and never forgetting why you started that journey. I think that is so awesome to always remember and stay humble and say, okay, I got sober because of this. So even if I'm nine years sober today, I can always go back and start off my day knowing, you know, Nate, you started this journey because of X, Y, and Z. Never forget that. It really keeps me centered and anchored on the present moment. So mindfulness has played such a huge role in my life of, of staying calm, um, not stressing about the future, um, not really, you know, I can't do anything about the past. 
so so that worry of stuff it's gone it's really it's really been eradicated from my daily life just because i'm practicing what i can control in the moment i can't control what i did yesterday that's gone never never is it going to come back again and then i can't control about the future because it, it hasn't written itself the only thing i could do is just be here in the moment and gosh that's such a freeing uh feeling it's free to be in that moment and, and to live with gratitude and to live with a reminder of why I started this journey and every day just for today I'm gonna I'm gonna stay that course for those 24 hours so everyone I really hope that you enjoyed this video about mindfulness and the practice of staying in the moment um, I hope that helps with your recovery or just your daily life um, you know you don't have to be in recovery from anything to practice the art of just being in the moment and, and being centered uh, and anchored in that 24 hours really does help me a lot and um, hope you enjoyed enjoyed this little video uh, on roads to recovery if you want more content we have a whole uh, you know obviously a YouTube page and Instagram page at cruising views we talk about the mental health and and um, recovery aspect please check us out there on Instagram and, and um, like and subscribe here at YouTube. We really appreciate that support. And we will see you next week. Have a wonderful day. Blessings.